Hello there. This is just a short video to demonstrate how to refill uh, Canon's PGI-9 cartridges, uh, the ones that are used on the Canon Pro 9500 Mark II printer. Uh, just a few weeks ago I decided to buy one of these uh, mainly because I just recently became a Canon convert after having used Epson for many 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 years and I'm just uh, getting into the uh, refilling aspects of these fine printers and here I have the uh, inks from Precision Colors which are from Image Specialist I believe all ten colors and just today I received uh, a set of reconditioned cartridges from uh, Precision Colors these have been uh, purged and I guess emptied and ready ready to be refilled um, of course only the eight primary colors are reset the uh, gray and I believe the photo black inks the original OEM chips are not resettable at least not yet so what I have done is I purchased some uh, single-use chips for these two colors and I will be installing those later alright let's open up the little package here with the 10 empty cards see what we have so yes we have 10 looks pristine used carts I'm gonna go ahead I always begin with yellow because it's the easiest color to possibly contaminate so let's put those on the side here and having never really emptied a cartridge before I'm gonna go ahead and uh, weigh it but before I do that I just want to show you a close-up of the inside because it looks very very clean uh, Mike did a great job on these and there I believe you can see just a hint of yellow remaining on that circular little part of that that metallic diaphragm I believe it is it's like a baffle very nice okay now the method that I have adapted is the dribble method meaning I'm going to be feeding ink from a syringe directly onto the uh, exit nozzle and this will be a great chance for me to see what an empty cart without the clip weighs because I'll be weighing them as I fill them on top of this uh, little micro scale it's a gram scale up to 100 grams so let's go ahead and zero out the uh, turn on the uh, scale and let it zero out and then I'll lay the uh, card on top and just see what an empty card weighs because I want to fill it all the way up to 33 grams give or take a few tenths of a gram okay I'm reading 16.15 16.56 so we'll do the math and I'll figure out how much ink I need to draw up on the syringe okay uh, just before I started I made sure that the chip was reset by using my resetter and now I can begin I drew up uh, 10 ml of yellow ink and I'm gonna begin to inject it into the exit port and as I dribble the ink in I can see the weight of the cartridge begin to rise and as you can see I'm, I'm dripping fairly quickly in fact now I'm doing a, pretty much a stream I'm up to 19 grams so 13 more grams to go when you start re uh, nearing the end of the process the absorption rate of course slows down somewhat and remember there are no sponges just uh, some sort of bag I, if I understand some of the explanations that I have seen 
inside this card and is held by some sort of metallic um, spring loaded or counterbalanced metal plate of some sort. I'm not about to dissect one of these apart. That's been done already by other people. This is my first full refill involving these cars. Okay, I, I am at 31. So we're almost there. And as long as you have a steady hand, you shouldn't have much of a mess. In fact, the mess will come if you accidentally squeeze the card on the sides. You might spill some ink or allow some ink to flow back out. And we are at 32 and a half. And right now we are at just over 33. Put the excess ink back in and as you can see there is no mess whatsoever what I normally do now is I squeeze the side of the cart and allow any kind of bubbles any kind of air that may have built up during the process to escape and right now what I'm seeing is nothing but liquid as you can see. Let me do this a close up of that so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, as you can see, I have the uh, cart up close to the camera. Now I'm going to squeeze the size, and you should see some fluid begin to come up. That tells me that the proper amount has been injected or put into the cartridge I guess for lack of a better word alright so now I'm gonna just wipe this up a little bit and uh, apply the clip and we're ready for the next one okay I have set up the photo magenta card so that I can refill it now as far as resetting these cartridges you need to use a regular uh, most CLI 8 resetters will work on 8 of the 10 colors except for uh, photo black and gray as many of you already know now there are many many types of uh, resetters I have two very well-known resetters here and the only problem I mean these work perfectly well with the CLI 8s but the PGI 9s have a different design on the exit nozzle and they actually interfere so no contact actually takes place because the way the this protrusion here causes the car to tilt forward it doesn't really make it uh, allow it to contact the pins you literally have to do it uh, sort of like a hand alignment procedure where you have to center it and then try to get it to light up now another design seems to work fairly well although it's still a little tricky um, is it, it it's kind of you know every once in a while it'll work I'm sure there are some that will allow this whole assembly here to fit now someone um, actually has modified a regular CLI 8 resetter to allow this portion to sit flush and that's the part that interferes with the actual resetting let's see if it'll work again it's just a matter of getting it in there correctly and there we go okay it's still not properly seated as you can see but at least it allows the contacts to make uh, to mate with the uh, resetters pins and so now this one is reset and now all I have to do is refill it as I did with the yellow and on and on I hope you 
found this informative. I, I'm, I'm sure that as I, just a few weeks ago, I had no idea how to refill this. I had bought this printer sort of blindly and then I realized, oh my God, how am I going to refill these cards? I cannot afford to buy OEM all the time. So, uh, learned several methods. One of the best ones is just a simple as can be, just, just dribbling the ink in. Who would have thought? Okay, well, let me let you go. This is very boring as far as I'm concerned. It's like watching paint dry. So we will see you possibly the next time. And of course in the Nifty Stuff forum for printers. Bye-bye.